other genders. Why is Sayori the only one without boobs? Because I'm not supposed to date her, I guess? That's my assumption. Uh, you can't... You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Oh, they, they, they said your name moody! Oh, shit! Sayori says that quietly into my ear and turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsu, always full of energy. Natsuki! Natsu, what the fuck am I talking about? And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Tee hee hee. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well. Isn't it nice to meet both of you? <laughs> and it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. Oh, Monica is pretty, pretty hot too. Wait, that's not Sayori in the middle? All those not purple haired girls look the same. Yeah, don't have short haired, kind of pink hair, and then all wear the same uniform. You're not going to be able to differentiate between the two. It's great to see you again, Paige. Aw, oh, that bitch wants me. Monica's- Look at that! She wants to ride this D! We don't know each other well, and we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, totally gonna bang her. Basically, completely out of my league. We'll see about that. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Paige. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Ooh, I get to choose who I get to sit pit by. Hey, Nate, what's up? I'm gonna probably go back and forth between Neo and Nate. I'll get the cupcakes. Oh man, I really want a cupcake now. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. They look so fucking similar. Sorry, I got a little excited. Yeah, you did. You slut. <laughs> then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged in the form of a table. Where? Where are these desks? Uh, they don't look like a fucking table to me. Say, Siori. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Oh, I didn't get to choose? Where's the choice in this game? Natsuki proudly matches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? So is... Natsumi just Sayori's little sister? I don't know. Let's see if Liam shows up drunk or not. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Poor Liam. Ta-da! Oh! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, that's cute. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate to make the ears. Hello, L pro bean bro. I'm going to call you L. <laughs> so cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Uh, we haven't found out if she's good at baking. She can decorate, but we don't know if she's good at baking. Uh, oh god, Natsumi is going to grow up and be a crazy cat lady. Take Yuri and get out of now. <laughs> he he he, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, and then Monica, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. 
Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard this somewhere before. What? Made them for you or anything? Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for y you know, y you, y you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Tsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. I can't read. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? <laughs> Oh, don't worry. Teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I don't know. I don't know how to read. I can't wait to taste Yuri's tea. I bet it will be amazing. Yeah, well. After all. Uh, I guess. Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Yeah, she is. They all want my D. That's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. <laughs> Dumb purple hair bitches make some kick ass tea. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you to consider- oh my god, this is so boring. Uh, <laughs> shouldn't tell Monica I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you just started to start your own club? You pro you could probably be the board member of any other major clubs because you're so popular and pretty and athletic. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Oh, look at that butt pop. Mmm, girl. It gets much better if I'm correct. The beginning is the boring part, yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if <laughs> it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. You are... You're a little too good at the that Monica voice, yo. Ah. Uh, uh, I don't know if I believe you. I feel like I'm very monotone. Get that boring girl out of here. That should be the Yuri Literature Club. When do they start fighting to the death? That'd be awesome. I'm pretty sure someone hangs themselves. SPOILERS! Jesus, guys! Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to say something brand new. To start something brand new. Where am I? What day is it? Who? What? What's going on? Ha! <laughs> kidding! Never said that! You piece of shit. <laughs> Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we are really... That we... That... Fuck. My life. I'm confident that we can all really... Oh, I need my glasses. I honestly can't read this. Okay, you get a PO box so I can get you some hooked on phonics. Hang on, guys. I gotta put my glasses on. <sighs> I'm 
confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! <laughs> we'll do our best. You know it. They all have the same voice to me. <laughs> uh, better yet, the way you're reading for this game, it looks like you got yourself some hooked on phonics with cute girls. Oh shit. Reading is hard. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Especially a cute boy with a little... Uh, the superhero puts on her disguise. Yes, exactly. I usually don't wear my glasses because you get some wicked glare. So, Paige, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh, considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Netsuki head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Uh, my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story of such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the worlds of books, not people. She's a shitty person, Nate. Just don't. <laughs> she is definitely a slut. No one does that to her teacup. <laughs> Yep. Totally a hoe. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Is that foreshadowing? Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Foreshadowing. Ah, oh, I read... I read a horror books once. <laughs> Deaf get behind Yuri. Yeah. I desperately grasp something so I can relate to the minimal level. On a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I bet she has a wicked kinky side. You guys. Who the fuck is Gary? What? Who's Gary? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, even if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Horror, <laughs> not horror. <laughs> oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Well, she's got pink hair. Of course she likes to write about cute things. Wh what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. You give that back. <laughs> fine, fine. Ihi, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just cute. Just as cute as you are. <laughs> that's that, sl that quick uh, slide in behind. Sari sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your 